And so, uh, yeah, uh, I'm Lord Unstable. I know it's been quite a long time since I made videos. I had an interesting past year or so in my life. I had a great job, lost that job, had fell in love, had heartbroken. But, you know, it's just how life is. I learned a lot of things. I'm back. I moved back uh, to where I'm from. And, yeah, so I got back into this game because this is a game that I love and hate at the same time because I think it's been way beyond the point of uh, pay to win. I, I remember the days before Awakening, and I wish for those days. I miss those days where I could run any team and be pretty efficient. Back in World Gods where everyone didn't have max level Awakened heroes. But... Besides the point, uh, as you can see, I'm VIP 14. Uh, I have spent my sh fair share of money on this game. As we can see, a recap of uh, a lot of craziness. Um, I did buy Chaplin all the way up to 12. Uh, coins with the boss war happened. With me that glitched out, so I was able to max out Ice Mage to level 12. Uh, buy the skin and get Emerald Mage to 8. I got lucky and got a uh, crystal when I randomly grabbed... Um, <clears throat> sorry, when I randomly got from uh, the Hero Charge event like two years ago, a year ago. And I got Iron Hoof skin and leveled him up because he's really good. But uh, yeah, so what's the plan here? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I did come back. For the Thanksgiving events. I do like how the system is. Like we can get all these coins. Utilizing all this stuff. Uh, you just get these from playing. You get the pens from doing. I, I find more in uh, elite chapters. But you can find them anywhere in the campaign. But this is what I really like. Is that you can get a uh, origin jewel. Just from uh, getting 800 of these. Which is plausible. Uh, especially if you get lucky in your spins. Uh, I, as you can see, I've spent a lot of my uh, coins that I've saved up to get stuff. Uh, I have not. I was not lucky this event. I did focus on getting on uh, all of the charge tickets, hoping for a chance to get something good. I really got shafted. Um, it's just how it is, though. But I do like how this system is for the turkey or Thanksgiving events and the turkeys and all of it. It's actually really nice because. I can collect a ton of Awakening Crystals, which let's talk about since I last played, I, uh, I've worked on a few characters. I just got Shadowleaf yesterday, level 5, uh, so she's going to be something I'm working on. And I like the Awakening Dungeon comes back, all of these little things. I've been playing for like two weeks now, came back. Uh, da -da -da -da. Who else was it that I leveled up? I leveled up Windmaster. Which uh, I was honestly never expecting to ever level her up in my entire life because I do not enjoy her skills. Um, but surprisingly, she does a lot of damage. So I was like, okay, every time I fought against her, she does a chunk of damage to my team just by herself. So I'm leveling her up. I need to get one more artifact, one or two more artifact pieces to get her artifact unlocked to level one. Well, uh, two star, which is gonna make it so each time she deals damage, she has a 70% ch chance to deal even more damage. 70% chance, sorry. Uh, I apologize, I'm a bit sick, I'm just getting over being sick. Uh, I also got uh, Machinist leveled up to a level 5. Sniper is almost there. Uh, where was he? Da -da -da -da. Also, War Chief, uh, as you can see right there, when I complete the Awakening Dungeon, like level 14 one more time oh no level 13 one more time i will be getting war chief level 5 we'll make a video on that if you guys want i still think he is one of the most disappointing heroes that got an awakening there's a, a lot of heroes i wish got awakenings and artifacts but he didn't even get an artifact he does have potential which can save him he does not have a skin so that sucks uh who else was it as i said sniper He's almost there, I just need his crystal, and I made the stupid decision to buy the box, which apparently does not house his crystal, or I'm just blind, because I kept looking at it for a while. So I got someone else's crystal, which was um, <clears throat> the Windmasters, so I could get her leveled up. And let's see, who else did I level up out of my team? I think it was uh, Inferno, level 2, 
Poison Fang level 1, uh, Warrior Monk level 2. I don't have his skin, I have most of it. Uh, unfortunately, it's a level 7 instead of 10. Another hero that I <coughs> leveled up was uh, Inferno Hunter, just for Outland Portal. Uh, speaking of, I am, haven't played consistently at all, so I'm so far behind on everything that, like, I really never played um, the Heroes Camp much, so I didn't really collect a lot of resources. So my training field is still the exact same level. My Wolf uh, Hall is still level 5. These are all things I need to level up at some points. I need to actually put the effort in. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'll figure how that goes. We'll actually do a... See if we can find a good amount of resources right now just for a run. There's a lot of heroes in this game that I noticed got artifacts since I last played. Like uh, Sanctuary Knights, Shadow Warrior, a few other heroes. Sorry about that. That was my sister texting. Um, besides the point. There's a lot of heroes I enjoy. Like I like Shadow Warrior but I don't have him leveled up. I like to more Gods. Uh, Sanctuary Knight is an amazing hero, so like, let's say my team is low health right here. You can always throw him in and he's, it's a good chance he's gonna heal a good amount if I can even find him. There he is. But, uh, also I saw someone else get an awakening, uh, not an awakening. Well, actually, yeah, no, they did get an awakening. Awakening. Uh, who was it? I was gonna talk about the skills. Um... If, eh, not skills, artifacts. But I'm trying to... Oh, yeah. Bloody Tyrants. I don't remember if he had it last time, but I saw him awakened, and then... Who else was it? No, I know Bloody Hunter was. Um... I also did just unlock Blade. So that was fun. Um... But artifacts. Like, I just noticed Ancient Genie just got an artifact. I do have his skin. So that is a thing. I'm playing with uh, <coughs> Queen of Sea Dragon, Depth's, hero, Depths Voice. She does have a skin, a new legendary, makes her amazing. We got Ancient Genie, uh, Lamp Genie, and then we have uh, Emerald Mage and Void Master. Void Master is one of my favorite heroes. I think he's very underrated, but at the same time, there's so many heroes that are better. Like, Ice Mage can do what he does 10 times better, and I have a way higher up. But I still enjoy playing with Void Master. At some point I might get him high level. I'm not sure yet. I also have... Um, oh, what's his name? Uh, we'll look at him in a second. I was disappointed with him. I was disappointed with Puppet Master Awakenings. I got some other crystals I have. Um, we're going to look at what crystals I have. I'm not... Like invested like I once was. I might get back into this game fully though. So we'll pop this skill. We'll give everyone a little bit of health. We can make them invisible. We'll get everyone stacked together right there. There we go. Unfortunately, we were not able to get Windmaster, so she might be able to pop up with it. Nope, wasn't able to. As you can see there, pretty great damage among my team. Emerald Mage is very strong, and so is. Queen of Sea Dragon, as you can see, she did 700,000. And these guys are only slightly higher than me. Well, she did have a level 113 commando, but that's besides the point. Uh, because Awakening does close that gap. <coughs> and I'm leveling up fast, too. In the time that I came back, I've leveled up almost three times. I'm about to reach uh, level 103. So what the goal is right now is collect a book. All the heroes I know that are great as debuffers, like Frost Dragon and even Void Master. Uh, great support heroes like Chaos Doctor and then Poison Fang and... You know, honestly, Psychic Sword's kind of there. I enjoy her sometimes. Death Knight, eh, he's been disappointing. But a lot of these heroes, I'm trying to get all to level 100 and leave them there. And show like get them awakened and get them to red gear. I have a lot of my team that I need to bring up that are higher level, leveled up. Like I love Demon Chief so much, <clears throat> but that's besides the point. We got so much more to go back into. I'm so far behind. 
if I actually commit to this, I'll think about it, I'll make a video, uh, probably tomorrow or the next day talking about what I'm thinking of. It depends on what you guys want, because I know I don't have a crazy amount of people that watch me anymore, because I've been away for a long time. I started watching Hero Shoujo and Noah, and then I saw uh, Burberry is back, and I was like, oh my god! Uh, so I was like, yeah, might as well. I asked World Chat, and they were like, hey, yeah. Uh, and then someone hit me up doing War Gods, and I was like, hey, didn't you used to stream? And I'm like, yeah! So, we'll see how it goes. There, there's really, like, no loot in this mode at all. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to find some people. There's a lot of heroes that want to, like, try out Awakened in Ohio, and these events that they- oh! Oh, level 120. This might be uh, unfun. So we're actually going to swap out a Void Master because he's not going to be able to survive this. Uh, Emberstall, why not? This should be a fairly good team. Uh, Mermaid Totem. Alright, so sorry about that. It seemed like my game crashed and my software went down, so I apologize. Um, it's only been like five minutes since that happened. Uh, as I was trying to say though, it's like, a lot of heroes that I, if I continued playing, I probably would be way stronger than I am now. I would have plenty of fun things to play with. But at the same time, it's not the worst, because I have some pretty great teams. Um, definitely, I have a lot more magical teams. Like, most of my teams rely on a lot of magic power. I do have, <sighs> like, a few good physical heroes. Like, for example, Doomsday Artillery, amazing. I have his skin, and I can pair him up with Sniper, who also I have the skin of. And I can pump out some crazy numbers. Uh, we were doing Heroes Camp, and then I got screwed over, so that's fun. I'm pretty sure it killed my team. No. Did it? Okay, no. So, we'll collect this ward. These guys are level 120s. They got a few gold heroes, but they're only level 1 awakened, so I should have a good chance. I do have all my ultimates as well. Ashen Descent. Um, that's a good hero from what I've seen. All the matches I ran into him, he does pretty good damage. Does not have his skin. Oh, that's not Ashen Descent. My brain thought that was Ashen Descent. That's actually um, Imperial Marshal. I'm like pretty sure. Yeah, no, my team is obliterating this one. And there we go. Yeah. Uh, it depends what everyone wants. I might continue making content. Um, long term, who knows. I'm currently at an interesting part of my life, so... We'll see how things get going. Oh, here, actually, let's do this. Now let's more focus on getting uh, Ancient Lamp Genie a little higher. Yeah, I should... I'm, I'm playing World Gods as well. I kind of just leave on auto because it just automatically picks a team. If I win, I win. I don't really play World Gods like I used to because I ran into some very, very strong players who uh, definitely been playing since the game has changed because they have plenty of teams that are level 12 and higher, so each of their heroes, so that was not fun. So I just let it play on auto in the back while I do other things about my day. <coughs> well, sorry about that. Um, yeah, we'll do a little few matches of these, see if I can get some good loot out of this. Queen of Misfortune. That's a hero that I also really like. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to identify her skin. I think her skin was pretty good. And like, I'm still trying to get back into this game, so I'm trying to remember everything I've touched on and played with. I do have a level 3. I do have a level 100. Um, I remember, I think one of the last videos I made was on her. Or speculation of when she was getting a skin and then she got it. <clears throat> but she really does a lot of damage, for sure, because every time she pops ultimate, she does more, so. Yeah, actually, let's go check out. What we got working with a uh, few other heroes I'm thinking of. 
I'm definitely going to get in phone at a level 3. Um, a lot of these heroes I have a level 1, I want to get a level 3 at some point. Potentially. Inferno for sure, Poison Thing for sure, Chaos Doctor and Trigger, Warrior Monk, I have heard of his uh, crystals just from doing the other things, so I have to level up other skills. Death Knight, I don't have his skin, I got how far, oh god, it's only level 2. Uh, Elder Giant, I had his, I was leveling up his skin because it was part of the event, but then I quit the game, uh, so that happened. Inferno Hunter, I'll probably get level 3 because I do enjoy uh, the poison damage build up for sure because he does quite a lot of damage against bosses that don't have immunity to damage over time. Lightning Elemental, that's another hero that I was really close with the skin. Yeah, I only need eight, uh, 60, that's uh, so not even 60, 58 more fragments, and then I have his skin, which I definitely wanted to play with. <coughs> I'm thinking about leveling up to find that at some point. If I can get the, the crystal out of doing the charge event and get his skin, I'm definitely going to level him up because I fought against a guy who absolutely destroyed my team because he had level 100 artifact that was like level 5 and it was just the divine at level 3 and he obliterated my team, my strongest team. Granted, he was 10 levels higher than me, but still... Uh, seems like he has potential for sure. I got a few other heroes I'm working on. Like, Manipulator. I enjoyed her when she first came out. Amazing hero. But I'm getting her skin through a ward boss. Same with... <coughs> uh, Total Fighter. So we'll see how that goes. I do have this artifact. I could level it up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Because it's going to be a while before I actually use him. And I do want to get my Depth's voice. Uh, to level 3 on an artifact. There's a few other heroes though, like Flywind here, he a heroine that I want to get just a second level so she does extra damage. Same with, uh, who was it? Oh, um, Windmaster. I'm surprised though that Disease Winger still has not gotten a skin or an artifact the entire time. He's been out since he got an awakening. Uh, he was actually one of the first heroes that could be awakened. I remember that. I awakened him pretty early on because his second skill, amazing. Just great healing and also great damage over time. He's definitely one of the best for that. Just as a uh, free to play here, you can get easily. <coughs> God. And then Poison One. I love Poison One. I'm surprised he hasn't got an artifact or skin either because he'd definitely do some crazy damage out there but anyways I think I should wrap it up today um, I'm not really sure what I want to make videos on yet we do have also uh, the artifact event going on unfortunately my game is so far back that most of these people are some of the best players in the world because of the fact that it's like the top 10 servers I think uh, sorry, I'm server 225, a lot of these servers are within 10 servers of me, I think it was, that they consolidated all the servers a while back, sorry, ranking, and we can just look at what I, my competition is, just, uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna win any of these events, back before they did that, I could realistically place top one, top two in most events, so I could actually get a lot of good loot, now I'm not even gonna get top five. <coughs> but it's how it is anyways um that's it for today's video everyone have a wonderful day and goodbye